Welcome to Centro, everyone. I'm Yadires Nova Salcedo. Thank you so much for being with us. It is an example of what can happen when people of different backgrounds come together to study, work, and live. MEDCO, the Metropolitan Council for Educational Opportunity, is a program founded in Boston in 1966. And back then, it provided a better educational opportunity for 227 students in seven school districts. Now, 52 years later, it's serving a total of 3,300 students in 37 districts. Medco recently got new leadership. Its new CEO is also a Medco mom, and she happens to be a Latina from the Dominican Republic. To tell us more about this great program and how it helps our youth, with us this morning, it's Medco's new CEO, Mili Arbaje Thomas. Thank you, Jadine. So happy to be here. I'm so happy to have you because I've known you at a personal level for more than 20 years. Yes. And you've been working so hard with the Latino community, with all communities, obviously, mm -hmm. through ABCD. Correct. That's yes. how I, you know, know all the great work that you've done. Mm -hmm. And now you're the new leader of this, you know, of Medco. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? I mean, it's been an amazing <laughs> opportunity. I mean, uh, you know, after having worked in anti-poverty programs for 20 years, I wasn't sure what other nonprofit work I was going to be able to do, mm -hmm. if I was going to do consulting or go back to the workforce. But when this opportunity presented itself, it was amazing because it's a program that fights racism at an educational level. And to me, that is just a powerful message and a powerful program to be involved in. So I'm very excited about what this can do for students of color, for white students in the suburbs, but also what we can do to integrate this program even a little bit further with more Latinos and more immigrants as well so that we can truly represent the urban community of Boston of today's time. Yes, and be a national model become a national model. So one of the things that I want to do, I'm really excited about this mm -hmm. opportunity, is that, you know, across the United States, desegregation is an issue almost everywhere. We have a lot of um, school districts that are not fully integrated, that are yes. very right, racially isolated. So what MECO does is provides an opportunity from people from racially imbalanced schools and racially isolated schools to come together in an integrated school experience. And it's very, um, a lot of states in the United States are not doing this kind of work. We have less than 10 that came from the civil rights movement that are yes. still alive today in the United States, mm -hmm. but we have you know, many other states and many other towns that, that can still join that can and still can still join be and that can be part of this. And as you know, today we, we, we need this today yes. because we are not fully understanding of each other. Mm -hmm. You know, the stereotypes among different people of color is still out there yes. and is very much alive. But the best way for people to get along and understand each other and break down racial barriers is through shared experiences and actually going to school together and becoming friends. And that's what this program does. So take us back, Millie. Obviously 52 years um, you know when it started it was because you wanted to give the program wanted to give students who were in schools that were I mean there were mm -hmm. eight students in in these public schools that they were in now their neighborhoods but then when you took them to other school mm -hmm. districts where they got challenged a little bit more mm -hmm. they actually become you know become sometimes from an A student to a C student which means that that's correct. where they're actually learning correct mm -hmm. yes yeah, so the program is really challenging because what's happening is that we are taking them from an urban setting and bringing them to a suburban community okay. where most likely um, for the majority of the time the curriculum is more rigorous the education is more intense so the expectations are also higher yes. so you know typically one of our students could be excelling really well you know in their current school but then when they go to Mecco they find themselves struggling a little bit but yes. that's a good thing because exactly. that means they're working harder they're learning more they're being challenged but what is even great about this is that later on when they graduate they are prepared to really compete in the real workforce and they have been used to being around people that look different than them and know that I also can have that same opportunity because it's about diversity also mm -hmm. I mean uh, okay so let's talk about you know if people are watching who can join Medco? So right now the requirement for Medco is that you have to be in a resident of the city of Boston. Okay. So it is a Boston program where we bus people from Boston into suburban communities. We have 33 communities right now that the Boston office works with. Okay. So you have to apply at our, at our offices in Boston and then once you apply the waitlist is very extensive. It's a very desirable program. People want to be part of the Definitely. Medco program because it's a challenging academic experience. It's also a lot of extracurricular activity 
activities that people can participate in. Yes. So you apply and you wait in the wait list and then you have to prove that you live in Boston. And then also we want to diversify neighborhoods because yes. it's about the racial imbalance. Yes. Therefore, you have to be a person of color as well. You mentioned a wait list. How long approximately? So five far? years. Ooh, five five years. years. They need to get moving then. They need to get moving. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for coming by. Congratulations. You've always, again, done great you know, work with our community in general. And I think this is the perfect role for you. Thank Congratulations you. Thank again. you, I'm excited. Yes. Thank you. For more information about the Medco program, you can call them at 617-427-1545. You can also get a direct link to their website and their social media pages visiting us online at cbsboston.com slash centro there. You can get more information on today's show and our past shows. Plus, you can watch both editions of Centro in English and in Spanish. We also want to invite you to our social media pages on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I'm Yadires Nova Salcedo, inviting you to step forward to a better UC next week.